Okay, so um, I was asked to talk about one uh, ethical choice that I've made in my life and uh, unfortunately I couldn't think of much, but uh, one thing um, that I think could count for uh, for that is um, that I actually decided to, um, to have my retirement uh, fund um, being a social choice one. So, um, so in the TIA CREF, uh, which is, uh, which is um, a retirement um, equity fund thing, um, they actually do have something called social choice equity fund for retirement money. And um, that was the only option I found as a faculty at Hofstra to, uh, to have my retirement uh, money uh, being built up in uh, investing money in uh, at least um, not the worst companies uh, in regards to human rights um, uh, situations, uh, in regards to um, firearm production, alcohol, drugs, um, well, I mean, illicit drugs, gambling, military, nuclear power, things like that, that I don't really want to, uh, to have uh, anything to do with. So. Um, Sometimes I uh, I get questions from from other people. You know why why wouldn't you just go with whatever um, fund brings you the most uh, money in the future? And uh, I'm just I'm just thinking to myself and saying that um, that that's really not what counts for me. And I I don't even bother to check much about how uh, how my social choice retirement fund is doing. Uh, compared to the other options out there, because uh, that's not what's important to me. I mean, uh, to put it uh, in simple, blunt terms, um, I would uh, I would actually rather uh, rather be um, living uh, very uh, in a very Spartan way as a, as a retired person rather than uh, having uh, you know material goods uh, which I kn which I knew that I had earned from uh, my money being invested in uh, in uh, practices that I don't support such as companies that can't really uh, prove that they are not uh, getting a profit from slave labor child labor producing uh, things that I don't want to see my money uh, being <laughs> being earned from so well, that's uh, that's uh, the most important um, things for me, um, because um, just to give one example, if uh, if there were no weapon production in the world, there would be no wars. And I know many people would say, "Oh, what what a simplistic, uh, dull thing to say as a professor," but I don't think it is, because if everybody thought like that, we wouldn't we wouldn't have the situation in the world that we have. So that's my little answer. Thanks. <laughs> that was not very good. But I have